Greetings and welcome to this tutorial on preparing your video presentation using Microsoft Office PowerPoint. In this presentation, I will discuss the step-by-step -step approach to developing your video presentation and the upload to YouTube along with the selection of the appropriate settings on the YouTube channel. The key points for today's presentation are an overview of the rules and regulation, creating your video using Office 365, and upload to YouTube and the selection of the appropriate settings. The guidelines to all Perica 2020 registered participants are available at the SMPPI website. You can access them at the link which is at the bottom. So refer to this particular link for updates and the current deadlines. For an overview of the video guidelines, the duration for your video should be from 4 to 8 minutes. The license which we select is the standard YouTube license. The YouTube is unlisted. And finally, the YouTube link must be shared along with your participation forms. The criteria for judging your particular presentation are novelty and inventiveness, usefulness, commercial potentialities, presentation and demonstration. Now all of these slides should be incorporated into your video presentation. With reference to presentation and demonstration, you may attach a video recording of your particular prototype using a MP4 format. However, please note that this particular video must be incorporated into your PowerPoint slides. Let us look at the first step, which is preparation of your video. For those of you who are aware, there are multiple platforms which can be utilized for developing some very clear presentations. Kinemaster and Fulmora can be accessed using any Android device. Prezi and Screencast-O-Matic can be accessed using your laptop or your desktop computer. For ease of use, we will be selecting Microsoft Office 365 as we currently have a license. So to commence the process, please log in using your credentials, which are your HR Online ID and your associated password. This is the dashboard which you will see. So you will see the Word, the Excel, the PowerPoint and all other apps. These are the Microsoft Office 365 apps. You click on the blank presentation and you commence creating your presentation online using your browser window. Now the reason why I am suggesting this is because the Office 365 online has a specific designer which will enable you to use artificial intelligence to develop excellent clear templates. So once you have created your PowerPoint presentation online, you will have to download this presentation and execute it on your laptop or desktop in order to commence recording your video. The suggested slides are as follows. The title, the team members and their respective affiliations, the acknowledgements including the grant code as this is very important, the novelty and in inventiveness, usefulness, commercial potentialities and the presentation and demonstration. Please note that all of these slides must be presented within a duration of 4 to 8 minutes so you will have to develop your storyboard accordingly. Now once you have completed the presentation online, you have created your template, you have put in your pictures and you have basically done a spell check and a proofread, you will have to download a copy of this presentation into your desktop or your laptop. So you download the copy as a PPTX file. The next step involves opening this PowerPoint on your laptop or desktop as the case may be. You then have to record this presentation. Now there is a specific button and we will go into that as this presentation progresses. 
So the idea is to record your presentation on your desktop and save it as a video file. Okay, so if you look up at the tab, you will see a specific tab which says slideshow. So you have a tab which says slideshow over here and you have a timer which says record slideshow. Now, remember that once you click on this button, record slideshow, you will have to wait for approximately three seconds. You will see a countdown timer on your screen following which you will commence recording your slideshow. Now, one of the things which you have to note when you are recording a presentation using PowerPoint is that you must allow the slide to transition before commencing speaking again. If you do not do this, there will be a loss of the audio during the transition. So please note that you click on the, the first slide, you wait for about two seconds, you commence speaking, then you click on the next slide, you wait for about two seconds and you commence speaking again. This ensures that there is a smooth transition of voice between slides. Once you complete your presentation, you select the escape key and you close this presentation. Now, once you do this and you revert back to your slide sorter view in PowerPoint, you will note that each slide has an audio tag attached to it. This audio tag is your voice over the presentation. We now move on to the next step, which is saving your presentation. Now, PowerPoint can be saved as a MP4 file or as a WMV file. Now, we would prefer to save this as MP4 file because MP4 file is recognized by YouTube. So you save the presentation as MP4 file and this presentation will be a complete presentation along with your voice as well as all other annotations on the slide itself. So please do this prior to closing your PowerPoint presentation. So once you have saved it, you will require around five minutes to around 30 minutes for saving your presentation based on the speed of your processor. Please do not close your presentation when it is being saved as this will lead to the loss of your video file. So ensure that the presentation has been saved. You will see the bar moving down, the save bar, and once this is completed, you may then proceed to close the file. Okay, now we have our presentation ready. We have our MP4 file and we have to transition to YouTube. So in this section, we will, I will teach you how to upload your file onto YouTube. Okay, the first thing which we have to know about your YouTube is your YouTube channel. Now, if you have a UMS Enterprise account or you have any Google account, you will have a YouTube channel linked to that particular account. All you need to do is search for YouTube or you can click on YouTube on your browser window and you will see your channel. Now, this channel is linked to your specific account. And in order to commence the procedure of uploading the content, all you need to do is click on this icon. You will see a camera here. I've indicated with the red arrow and there's a plus sign. When you click on this icon, the upload procedure will commence. Please ensure that you are connected to a suitable Wi-Fi or internet connection when you commence upload. When you click on the icon, you will see this pop-up window. All you need to do is drag and drop your MP4 file onto this particular window and wait for it to upload. Now, when you upload to YouTube, there are two processes which occur. The first process involves upload and the second process involves uploading and processing of the video. So we'll see this as you upload the respective file. You can also select the file from the folder by clicking on the blue button, which is the select file link. Now, once you have uploaded your presentation onto YouTube, you have to select your license. I will briefly describe the two types of licenses which are offered on YouTube. The first license is the standard YouTube license and the second license is the Creative Commons or Attribution license. Now, when you select the standard YouTube license, 
you have a certain level of control over the content in terms of the copyright. However, if you select a Creative Commons attribution license, you give everyone the right to download, reuse, remix and share your content. So please select your license using the standard YouTube license selector. Okay, so this will be your basic window once you upload your YouTube. So you'll see your video here in the gray section. You'll see your video being processed here. You will see the details of the video here. And if you scroll down this section, you will see your Creative Commons attribution. So the icon which you look for is license and distribution. Okay, there is the next button which is the video elements. I would not suggest that you change this video elements unless you're a YouTuber and want to obtain more su subscriptions and traffic so we do not touch the video elements and finally we have the visibility element so once you have done with this you click on next and it will move on to the visibility now let's look at visibility youtube offers multiple sets of visibilities the first one is the unlisted there is public and there is private now videos listed under private will only be visible to you those which are unlisted you will obtain a link however the link can only be shared with the party whom you intend to share the video with okay, that's what it is and finally you have your public which is visible to everyone and it's searchable using the standard search engines once you have completed this select unlisted you click on save and wait for the processing to occur Please do not close the site or the window when the processing is taking place. So once the processing has been completed, you will see the link. So when you scroll over this particular window, you will see the link here. And that is the link which you need to copy and paste in the SMPPI application window as requested by the conference organizers. So you move on to basically sharing your link and you share it with SMPPI in your application form and your video will now be visible to the judges when they click on your respective link. With that, I would like to thank you for participating in this presentation. I wish you all the best for the competition. If you have any queries, you can post them on the comment section below. Thank you.